And here we go. Continuing with Alexander the Great. Non dum, which means not yet. Suspectus erat, or signs. Here's the nominative. So, uh, or signs, erat was not yet suspected. Uh, Tarman, nevertheless, he was yam, which means now already. Vilior, which is a comparative. Usually means cheaper um, or more base, but it just means you become uh, less esteemed, as the lobe puts it. Rios, which is a defendant or the accused. Enum is for the adverb. So he was a an accused person in secreto. It's pretty much like in English, in secret. Um, Agabato, things which were going on. Latentus pericula ignarus. So ignarus goes with the rios as a past passive. So he was um, ignorant, basically, of the things agabato, which were going on in secret. He was ignorant of the latentus periculi, which was um, the hidden danger. Latentus is yeah, lying, um, laying hidden and periculi's danger. And importunissimum, which is an accusative superlative, often you see it as I am importune, which um, here is an alternate spelling, importunissimum, scortum. Again, scortum's the harlot. So he was ignorant of the hidden danger and of this, usually inopportune, it's just going with this uh, scorter, so it's, uh, it would mean something more like uh, this crude or base. Uh, prostitute, uh, ne quidem again, not even in stupro, in his debaucheries and debased sexual activities, and de decorus patentia, and um, patentia is um, something you're like allow basically, um, or you suffer and endure of this de decorus, which is a dishonor. Uh, Oblitum again is in the accusative, going with importissimum and scortum. Um, so, which means oblitum's forgetful, and we have a genitive fraudis, uh, forgetful of the fraud. So he was not even when he was in his debaucheries and legal sex, and um, he wasn't forgetful of his fraud and, the, and his um, enduring dishonor. Quotiens, whenever, amorem, which is love, regus is genitive of the king. So whenever the love of the king, arkendret, which means it was set aflame, it was burning, in say with the accused, it means towards himself. So whenever the, the king was burning with love for him, um, he did not even in this uh, blah, 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 blah. Also, them is all signs from up here. It's the Greek uh, version of it in the accusative. So something's happening to also them. Modo, avaritia, of greed, interdom. Modo and modo means now and now. Interdom means sometimes. So you could say... Um, now of avarice and greed, and sometimes even argue about. So he was, this is imperfect, he was accusing Orison, this is the um, the most importunate um, scortum, if you're following. Uh, so whenever the king was burning for fire with him, he would be sometimes accusing Orison of avarice and uh, even of defection, which is causing riots and rebellion and treason. So yam, which means now or already. So now mature erant, we're talking plural things were, with the erant, in perniciam, in with the accusative, of an innocent, and mendakia going with mature. So now these mendakia, the lies, were mature in perniciam, which is the destruction of the innocent, and fatum, which is fate, cuis, demonstrative pronoun, of whose, Sores S. Sores is um, the nominative here. Whose inevitable lot is. So fate's the one who's, um, who's this, causes this inevitable lot. Ad petabat. Um, this can mean different things if it's transitive. Here it's intransitive, so it means was was nigh, was uh, drawing near at hand. So now these lies were mature in the destruction of innocent and fate of whose inevitable lot it is was at hand, so here we go. Forte, by chance or perchance, and again we start off with enem. For by chance, the sepulchre, which is the, um, the term, of Cyrus, 
Alexander the nominative, you're set ordered with the infinitive to be opened. For, by chance, uh, Alexander ordered the tomb of Cyrus to be opened. In quo, in which, erat was, conditum eos corpus. So, in which was his body, eos means his, his or of him. Conditum, so it was condited in there, it was uh, stored away in there. Cui, to which, dare, volabat, he wanted, with the infinitive, and volabat's imperfect, going with Alexander. So Alexander was wanting to give Cui, dative to him, inferias, which is um, honours of the dead or something. Oro aganto qui, qui is the enclitic means end. So with gold and with silver, conditus repletum esse credidere. So he was believing it to be replete with gold and silver stored away, conditus. Replete just means um, full of. Um, quippy, sense, ita, thus, pharma perse vulga verant. So this is what the rumour of the Persians had been spread about amongst the common people. And we'll have a daily dictionary here for inferia, inferre, first declensions, offering to the dead, plural. And we saw it used inferias, which was plural in the top 20,000 words. Said praetor, but besides, clipium eus putrum, um, his shield, in the apposition or a complementary subject, we have... Um, a putrid shield, Eos is his, and an Arcus, Dua Scythius. Um, Arcus here looks uh, fourth declension, and two Scythian Arcuses, which are bows, which you, you shoot arrows from, and an Archon, what is an Achanacum in the accusative, uh, nothing, repair it. So, but besides this putrid shield, he found nothing, and there was two Scythian uh, bows and this scimitar, and I could. Back in Arkham, whatever that is. Caterum. It's a mild form of saying, but Corona Aurea Imposita placed a golden crown. Now we have Amiculo, which is a mantle or a cloak, Cui, to which Ipsi himself, Adsurat, was accustomed. Um, Solium is one of the naughty nine pronominals or whatever. Pronominals or whatever. Um, which himself was accustomed only to wear, in quo corpus, yakabat, in the which the body was lying, velvet. So, here's our verb. So, he veiled it over, he covered it over. So, he put down a golden crown, and he covered over with the cloak which he himself was accustomed to wear on the body, maratus. So, this is um, describing Alexander. He was amazed, he was astonished, he was admiring or whether he's more more astonished that Tanto nominus regem, a king of such a name, of such praetatum, which um something belonging to you that you possess, um someone who possessed such opibuses, which is uh wealth and resources. Horde pretiosius, um it's comparative, he was not uh sepultum, so not not buried very richly uh, so he's not put in the ground in a tomb with expensive stuff. Quam, at sea, as if, fuesset, he had been uh, from amongst the plebs, from one of the common people. Proximus erat latiri, so to his side, proximus means nearby, was the spado. If you get your pets uh, neutered and spayed, it means they become eunuchs. So near to his side was the eunuch, who, regem, Alexander's the regem, the king in the Kisif, intuans, this is the present participle in the nominative, who was gazing at the king, so next to the side of Alexander was the eunuch who was gazing at him, and he inquired, he said, what wonder, what mirum, est inania sepulcra esse regum, is when the, the tombs, regum of kings, is in inania, is empty, when the domus Satraparum, when the homes of the satraps, Aurum inde egestum, that comes from egero, capere non possint. Uh, so cum takes subjective here, so which possint, which is when the, the homes of the satraps are not able to capere, to take or to hold uh, the gold egestem, which they have carried off. So the tombs are empty. And the homes of the satraps are not even able to hold all this gold that they've taken away. 
Quod ad me attenet. Ad me means to me. Attenet's an impersonal, so what it uh, attenets to me basically means as far as I'm concerned or how it relates to me. Ipse hoc bustum, so this bustum is like when you make a statue of yourself, it also means a tomb. Uh, this tomb itself, antia non videram, I've not seen antia before, said, but extario ita akepi, but I've received, or I've, I'm guessing he's heard it, I've heard from Dario ita thus, that three milia talentum, condita esse cum Cairo, that 3,000 talents, or of talents, were condited here, were hidden away here, with Cyrus. Cum takes the ablative. And as we know, the eunuch's causing trouble. So hinc, uh, henceforth, illa benig benignitis, which um, they go together. So this kindness, inte, towards you, or that, um, quod impune habre non potrot orsinis. So which orsines was not able uh, to have... Uh, with impunity, basically. Um, we have a Geron Donanando, etiam gratiam in it. By giving it away, by donating away all his gold, um, he was able to enter into gratiam, which is favour and influence. So what it means, basically, is, is um, Enchil, in his kindness to you, also in his, was not able to have this with impunity because he gave away this gold to ingratiate himself, something like that. Concita verat yam animum in iram. So he had incited now uh, the king's animum, his mind, into ire, into anger. When he, which is these, when these, quibus, to whom, negotium idem deterat, to whom now the same business had been given, they superveniented, they arrived, or they arrived unexpectedly. Hink bogas, hink ab eo. So here was bogus, and here, and here and there, you might want to say, here on one side was bagus, and here were uh, subordinate eos, and those who were subordinate to him, forces criminibus occupant ores. They were occupying the ears with false incriminations or accusations. Um, you could probably smooth it out better and say, so on one side was bogus, and on the other were people that... Um, I guess the eunuch had sub suborned them to fill the ears of the king with um, these false accusations. Antiquam, before accuser say, before accused himself, suspiacia orsines. So before orsines was suspecting that himself was being accused, says reflexive, traditus est. He was handed over in vincula, which is into chains. He was put in the chains. Non contentus supplico in sonatus, spado ipsi, so spado's nominative, so the spado himself, the, the eunuch himself, not content, ablative with the punishment in sonatus, uh, genitive of the innocent, himself, he injected his manum, so he put in his hand, morituro, to him who was about to die, that'd be a dative uh, future. So, yeah, as the man was about to die, he himself, Touched him with his hand or something. Quem, relative pronoun. Orsonines, insuance, present participle. Looking over at Quem, at whom, at this spade. He inquired, he said, I've heard in Asia, all in once, feminus regnase, that women ruled once upon a time. Hoc viro novum est. Viro's but, but this novum est is the new thing. A castratum regnare. A castrated person to rule, the eunuch to rule. Hink, uh, it's an adverb. Uh, so from this, for it was, the exitus, the end, superlative, nobilissime, persorum. These are double genitives. And so this was the end of the most noble of the Persians. Nec in sontus modo, not only, modos only, uh, we saw it earlier on meaning uh, now, but not only of an innocent person, but eximie, which means is a special type of person, quoque also in regum with accuser towards the king, but of an especial benignitis, of a special kindness, someone had done good things for the king. Eodem tempore, in the same time, or at the same time, we sometimes see with the ablative, uh, fredates. Suspectus, so he's the nominatives. He was suspected of adfectase, which is a 
an infinitive or perfect infinitive. Fabbing affectations or desiring the regnum, the kingdom. And Okidato, he was killed. Kawiparat essay. He began to be, or this is Alexander, he began precepts, which is headlong, ad representanda, that's a jaran supplica, punishments. So he began to be going headlong into, we get uh, the presence from presente, so uh, on the spot punishments. Likewise, credenda, another gerund, um, could even be a drundif, and to believing ad deteriora, the, the worst thing. So he started becoming a bit rash, really, and he'd punish people on the spot and believing anything. It was terrible. Skilleset, the adverb, so which means obviously. Res secunda, which means favorable matters. Res is a fifth, so this is a plural. In favorable matters, valent. Uh, they're strong enough, commutare in nature. So obviously when things are going very good, it's strong enough to change your nature and your naturum. En raro, and so you could just say en rarely. Quiz quam, is anyone. Erga, it's a preposition. Towards bona sua, to one's their own good, good things. Satisfactorily courteous enough. So and rarely does anyone uh, cautious enough, satis, cautious, cautious enough uh, when things are going well for them. Idem, enem. For likewise, Paulo ante, a little before, Lysestenam Alexandram. Uh, we've got two accusic. So um, we'll see what's happening. Delatum a duobus indicabus damne non sustenate. So Alexander could not bear sustenate damne to condemn a duobus indicus by two witnesses, um, a delatum. So a charge which was brought, uh, delatum, you, know, you get very tool in latus. Uh, so he's not bad to condemn a Lysisthenem. When humilios, quoque also rios, with, when these have been lower, lowlier um, accusatives, contra suem volatatum, which means against his own will, queer because, ceteris vitabantor, they had seemed, and see here means plural, so because they seemed innocent to the rest, uh, passus. He, um, he allowed them to be absolved. So basically all together, a little before Alexander could not bear to um, condemn people on, by these two witnesses and, and then lower people, lowlier people, that's uh, comparative, even against his own will. Um, but because he seemed innocent to other people, he had allowed them to be absolved or set free. Hostibus Victus, so Regna Redeterate, so he even returned, he gave back the kingdoms to beaten enemies. Uh, so once upon a time he'd been very kind, and even when uh, this guy had been charged by two witnesses, he didn't punish him, but now he was just um, punishing people on the spot. Okay, at ultimum, uh, towards his end of his life, the ultimum of his life, Tam ex toto ab semet, semet's just uh, emphatic of say, uh, he was so degenerative uh, from his own person, ipso toto, from all, from all of himself or all of his previous self. And it's asked as a question, towards the end of his life, was he so different and that had he degenerated from his own character? Ut, that quande, once, uh, so that he had once had uh, an invicti enemy, he had an unconquered mind, adversus as a preposition, or towards liberty them, li Libidinum, which towards lust. So once upon a time, he had an unconquered mind towards lust by, by the arbitrowo of a scortus, so by the decision of a prostitute, of a lowly prostitute. He had directed, he had given regna kingdom alias to some, and alias alias, uh, and to others, he had idemorated them of, of vitam. He had driven away their life, or he had taken their life.